Welcome back to another AF Stadiums. Today we're going to keep chugging along here on the FCS football conferences. We're going to be taking a look at the MEAC. This is a HBCU conference that only has six teams. Starting things off with North Carolina Central University, we got O'Kelly Riddick Stadium. It's got a capacity of 10,000, was built in 1975. It's a pretty nice stadium. Um, you got seats on three sides, um, so you're kind of a little bit better than some FCS schools, usually you're just looking at seats down the sidelines. Um, you do have a pretty nice press box. You got the red brick facade on the home side. You don't have any seating in the one end zone, just a scoreboard with maybe some standing room. And then it looks like you even have some stadium seats down there in the first couple of rows. Next, we got Howard University and Green Stadium. Uh, it's got a listed capacity of 7,086, but for football, it's got a capacity of 10,000 because they bring in bleachers like this in the end zone just to add some more seating. Um, was originally built in 1926, did get a little bit of a renovation in 87. They did recently just get a new press box. I haven't heard anything good from Howard Football Stadium. Um, it was supposed to be updated quite a bit throughout its years, but nothing ever came of it, and it's just been kind of in this stagnant, needs to be updated but won't get updated state. Next, we got South Carolina State University. We got Oliver C. Dawson Stadium. Uh, this one, I think, is my favorite one on the list. Got a capacity of 22000 was built in 1955, got renovated in 94 for $5.4 million. It's kind of an odd stadium because none of the seating is the same. Each section is a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. It's just got some odd levels to it, but I'm a pretty big fan. It looks good. As far as like an FCS stadium goes, I think it looks really great. You got some chair back seats there, pretty large uh, press box. Overall, a great stadium. Next, we got Morgan State University, Hughes Memorial Stadium. Got a capacity of 10,001, built in 1937, making it one of the older ones on this list um, for just $360,000, but did go through a $14 million renovation in 2001. Y'all know I'm not a huge fan of tracks, but this track, to me, being a track athlete, is absolutely beautiful, so I'm a fan of it. I'll let it stay. But overall, not a bad stadium. you got some chair back seats, a nice large press box. does have the track, so you are a little bit further away, but not a bad older football stadium. Next, we got Norfolk State University William Dick Price Stadium. Got a capacity of 30000 making it the largest one on this list. Built in 1997 for $12 million. Um, again, kind of got an odd seating layout. Some of the sections are just kind of oddly shaped but it works out uh, you do have a pretty nice large press box there they did just get some brand new turf does have just a green track around it but i feel like it doesn't look like you're too far away from the action here um, looks like you're still kind of sitting up on top of the stadium and then they did just get a new scoreboard just kind of help freshen things up lastly we got alumni stadium delaware state university got a capacity of 7193 making it the smallest one on this list. Um, this is pretty much just a high school football stadium. It's probably like every other high school football stadium in the country, really. Uh, you got a newer side that does have a newer press box. They did just get some new turf. You do have a track around the football stadium. It's not bad, but it's not great. Um, definitely looking at some of the other ones on the list. They could do a little bit better, especially on that away side there. It just looks really outdated once again guys hope you enjoyed don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and we will see you in the next one